Chapter 4, Models. This chapter focuses on the use of models and incorporating them into the F.dot environment. Topics include model properties, F.dot's use of models, the models dialog, and creating a model. MicroStation offers many enhancements designed to facilitate the production of engineering information. One of the most beneficial enhancements to MicroStation is the introduction of models in the design file environment. A design file is composed of models. When users draw or place elements within MicroStation tools, the elements are added to the active level. A model can be either 2D or 3D and is stored within the design file. When a design file is created from a seed file, an empty container setup is provided with a default model ready to create a design. If a 2D seed file is used, then the default setup is 2D, while a 3D seed file defaults to a 3D setup. In 2D drafting, the MicroStation equivalent of a sheet of drafting paper is the design plane. Unlike a sheet of drafting paper, the design plane in a design file is extremely large and allows the user to draw models at full scale. To draw various elements in a model, the user enters data points. Each data point is placed in the design plane with an associated x, y positions or coordinates. The design plane is simply a Cartesian coordinate system upon which a model resides. Each model also contains its own unique set of working units, which theoretically would allow metric and English coordinate systems within the same design file, which you should not do. Every model has its own set of eight views. The model whose views are displayed or available for display at a given time is the active model. There are three types of models, design models, sheet models, and drawing models. Design models are similar to DWG models, model space, which consists of design geometry and can be either 2D or 3D. A design model can also be used as a reference or placed as a cell. In MicroStation, an unlimited number of design models can be created in a design file. By default, the view windows of these models have black backgrounds. Sheet models are similar to DWG drawing layouts or paper space and are commonly used to compose finished and annotated printable drawings. MicroStation allows an unlimited number of sheet models to be created in a design file. By default, the view windows of these models have white backgrounds. FDOT does not currently use sheet models for its plans production. However, in the next version of the software, Open Roads Designer, we will be using sheet models. Currently, all FDOT sheets are created in design models. Drawing models are a subset of a 2D or 3D design model used to apply annotation, dimensions, callouts, and other embellishments to the design. By default, the windows of these models have gray backgrounds. FDOT has implemented the use of models for combining dependent data into a single MicroStation design file on a specific limited basis. FDOT has chosen to use the design model for model creation. One example of the use of models in the FDOT workspace is the FDOT cross-section files. The FDOT cross-section seed file is set up with several distinct models. I'm accessing the model dialog from the primary toolbar. I've had it docked to the bottom of my screen. I'm going to unpin this and drag this into the center of the screen so you can see the cross-section seed file contains a model for existing features, a model for pattern lines, a model for proposed features, a model for cross-sections, cross-section sheets, and cross-section shapes. When a cross-section file is created using the f.cross-section seed file, it will also contain all of these models because again using a seed file to create a file is simply copying that file into your working directory and renaming it which is done automatically by the create file program I'm gonna stay in this file to demonstrate a few more things view groups are predefined for each model within the cross-section file these are created automatically in conjunction with the models and allow easy access to and switching between models there's a view group for each model in this menu right here. Another example of use of models in the F.dot workspace is for alignment stations and tick marks at different scales. This allows for the use of one set of level names for all scales and the users of these files to reference only one of the models with the needed scale. I'm opening up the AlignRD file that I was in earlier. This is the AlignRD file I created earlier, and while of course it does not have any elements actually in it, I'm going to demonstrate what you would typically see. You notice that there's a default model and models at different scales. 
those are for the different scales of tick marks. So the numbers and the tick marks can be different scales. So depending on what scale you're plotting at, the numbers and the tick marks will appear to be the correct size on that sheet. So you see it's 1 scale, 10 scale, 20, etc. Typically what you'd have in the master model would be the alignment itself, just the line, the line work. And then in these individual models, you'd reference in the line work, and these models would actually contain the tick marks and the number. Let's talk about the models dialog. When a design file is first created, it has a built-in default design model described as master model, ready to place elements. MicroStation's models dialog allows users to create, edit, manage, and quickly switch between any model, including the default model, into the design file. This dialog can be accessed from the MicroStation menu option, File, Models, or from the Models icon on the primary toolbar. Bearing in mind that you can access the quick dialog by clicking the down arrow. The Models in Active Design button displays the models in the Active Design file. Clicking the down arrow opens a pop-up menu for selecting an active link tree to see available link sets. The Create a New Model button opens the Create Model dialog, which is used to create a new design or sheet model in the open DGN file. Design models generally contain design elements while sheet models are used for plotting. And as mentioned before, we do both plotting and design in design models currently, and we'll be using sheet models in OpenRoads Designer when we switch to that. The Copy a Model button does exactly what it says. It copies a model, makes a copy of it. The Edit Model Properties button accesses the Edit Model Properties dialog so you can edit the properties of the model. The Delete Model button will delete models. However, you'll notice that you cannot delete the master model. Import Models will allow you to import models from other files. The List Filter button, if on, displays a filter row in the list box that allows for defining a filter for any of the list columns. To define a filter, Click on the required filter field, enter the filter parameters for information on defining filters by string, integer, or Boolean expressions refer to the tables in defining and deleting filters. This is the list box. It contains all of the models in the active file. It can be organized by the columns at the top. This shows the type of model, whether it's 2D or 3D the name of the model, a description if there is one, the file in which it is, whether it can be placed as a cell, creating a model. Working with design models, the user can create one or more discrete models within a design file and move between the various models using the models dialog. Where a design file contains many models, filters can be set up to display only particular models, but filters are not saved from one design session to the next. The drawing models are the intermediates between 3D design model and printable sheet model. The drawing model can be used for centralizing annotations that need to be shared across multiple sheets. When a drawing model is attached to a sheet, the drawing model's annotation scale is used as the attachment default detail scale. When creating models in a design file, the user has the option to specify whether or not that model can be placed as a cell. If this option is turned on, the model can be referenced as a model or placed as a cell within another model. When referencing a model, the link to the original is maintained and any modifications to the original will reflect in the reference. When a model is placed as a cell, the link to the original is removed. Exercise 4.1 Models Creating models manually Open the MicroStation file Align RD01 You'll notice this alignment file only has one additional model in addition to the master model. That's because it was not created using the create file application. The create file application creates additional models inside the align rd file. So we're going to create some additional models since they don't yet exist in this file. First thing you should do is access the models dialog if you have not already done so. You can access it from the primary tools toolbar or from file models on the microstation menu. From the Models dialog, select the Create New Model icon. This opens the Create Model dialog.
you'll notice that you have options to create a model from a seed or without a seed. If you create a model from a seed, first of all you should use the f.seed files. However, if you create a model without using a seed, it's going to create a model based on the properties of your active design file. So for example, if you've created a design file using the f.seed2d seed file, and then within that design file you create an additional model, and you select design, it's going to create a design model based on the properties of the f.seed2d file because the f.seed2d file was used to create that file. We're going to go ahead and use just design. We're going to name this design align rd40. The description is going to be alignment at scale 40. You can select the annotation scale. And leave the global line style scale that way. This is the checkbox for can be placed as a cell. You saw that in the models dialog here, the check, check mark indicating that the, these models can be placed as cells. Uh, this is where that checkbox gets checked if you want to be able to place it as a cell. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect this specific alignment file to have that checked or not checked. Uh, by default it was off when this dialog was opened, but if you check that box it's not going to cause any problems. And of course you do want to check create a view group, so it will create a view group down here in the view groups menu. Let's go ahead and repeat that process and create another one. I clicked on the create model button. I'm calling this a line RD. Oops. And alignment at scale 200. There are two ways in which models are created automatically. Models can be created automatically through the Create File program, which uses commands as the file is opened to create additional models. We saw this when the align rd02 was created. The other way to create models automatically is by using the cross section seed file to create a cross section file. As I mentioned earlier, when creating a cross section file, the models that exist in the cross-section seed file will be copied into the new file. So to review, actions, create file, select your project, select the roadway discipline, select roadway files, locate the align RD alignment layout. Note that it is using the f.seed2d. The f.seed2d only has one model, the default master model. However, the actions listed in the create file field for actions create the additional models. If we access the models dialog from the primary toolbar, we can see that the additional models were created. Now locate the cross-section file, rdxsrd. Note that the seed file being used is the f.seedxs cross-section seed file. There are no additional actions for creating models. However, when the file is created, it automatically already contains the additional models of the cross-section seed file.